Trekking to Los Quebrachitos Natural Reserve. A great ecological land in the Sierras Chicas. Unquillo is a town 24 kilometers northwestward far from Córdoba capital city along Provincial Road E53. It is located just at the foot of the Sierras Chicas and neighboring the towns of Villa Allende, Mendiolaza and Rio Ceballos. Moving seven kilometers along a gravel road from Unquillo, you reach Los Quebrachitos Nature Reserve. It is a protected land which offers a perfect place for resting and being in contact with nature in its purest form. It comprises an area of 5,000 hectares, including the headwaters of the Cabana and La Ensenada Stream, which are both tributaries of the Unquillo Stream. The Unquillo, together with the Rio Ceballos, stream make up the Saldan River, which will then be tributary of the Siuquia River. It is one of the right natural environments to carry out outdoor activities, trekking, hiking, cycling, horse riding and flora and fauna observation. The reserve aims to promote conservation, education, and research activities on local natural resources. It lies at about 600 meters high on an uneven terrain marked by elevations of a certain height, hillocks, and the irregular layout of streets from nearby neighborhoods. The entire area is a mountain valley crossed by numerous streams and among slopes with abundant vegetation. In fact, the reserve highlights because the area is a representative part of the Serrano and Espinal habitats. As regards the plain land, there are still specimens of carob trees talas, espinillos, tuscas, and white quebrachos, which are nearly a hundred years old. Then, in the mountain woods, the vegetation is marked by moshes, cocos, espinillos, white garabatos, and manzanos de campo. On the banks of the streams, you can find native willows and elms, girls, black acacias, china berries and blackberries as newly introduced species. The path that takes us to the reserve invites us to stop and have a view into the lush vegetation. Carobs, cocos, moshes, talas and espinillos into the clear water of the cabana stream into the birds which flutter here and there. All these species make up a unique landscape offering incredibly shades of amazing colors. On the other hand, the native fauna is very present in cougars, wild cats, gray foxes, skanks, red brock deer, small rodents, iguanas, shararas, toads, and overo lizards. Bird watching is a very interesting activity which you cannot miss in this place. You can take advantage of more than 60 species which live in the reserve, including vultures, black eagles, caranchos, chimangos, hawks, keys, cadis, thrushes, hummingbirds, woodkeepers, fire shards and little owls. Ducks, toads, partridges, 
mojarritas, and birds of all kinds complete the list. As for flora, unfortunately, there is a proliferation of exotic species such as blackberries, grateus, and black acacia. Along the path, hidden waterfalls are found. They can be considerably high, with pure water within a natural view beyond description. Whenever you go there, you get captivated with this place, and then you will always be looking for the opportunity to return. At the entrance, you find an access gate, a bridge to cross the stream, and immediately after, the Buffo Museum and Chapel. Or, if you prefer, you have the possibility to go into the reserve undertaking a path along the banks of the stream or along the path marked by the closed property. On the route, you will find different varieties of the landscape and the colors of the flora. You should never forget to take the camera with you. You should walk bordering the stream and along the way, you have to cross it several times. In some parts, you can see it from above, but you always have it for reference. As the path goes up, the landscape becomes more and more beautiful, more surrounded by the wood, and the silence around gives everybody peace. From the highest points you can see Unquisho, the neighboring towns and villages, and, in the distance, Córdoba as well. There are also interpretative posters that describe the functioning of the soil, point out the importance of the rains, describe the flora and fauna, among other explanations. The reserve proposes two walks, one shorter and of moderate intensity, and another one longer with a greater physical demand. The first one, which is two kilometers long, leads towards the south of the reserve and lasts two hours and a half. The second, of medium high difficulty, begins on the premises of the Casa Museo y Capilla Buffo, an ogival building carried out by the Italian Guido Buffo in the 1940s as a tribute to his wife and daughter, who both died very young because of tuberculosis. The new itineraries are marked with informative and interpretative signs and notes. The idea is to let everyone know about the importance of river water and the natural resources of the basin. These trails are located on the banks of the Santa Marta and Cabana streams. The entrance to the reserve is free. Groups of more than 10 visitors can only be in with the presence of a guide with the corresponding insurance and permits. Do not forget to bring appropriate clothing and shoes, water, drink, and sunscreen. And remember that setting fire, hunting, Fishing, camping, removing vegetation or leaving litter is prohibited.